uh, now we see here on the inside, we've sprung over forms, so most of the strength is coming from the structure, okay? And it's all just lashed and pegged together, so there are almost no nails. There are a few screws along the gunnels to hold the fabric in, and it's, it's ballistic nylon. So this will stop bullets. Okay, Please, so carry it, carry it. Okay, yeah, pick it up, pick it up. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. To buy, to buy a boat that was this light, that was a, was a manufactured there, right? boat, you would be yeah. looking at over two thousand dollars, twenty-five hundred bucks. This is a thousand. Okay, okay. So I was building it, building it myself, building it with Brian. Yeah. Well, you're building it with assistance. Yes, yes, I'm building it with the expert. Um, and I know, I know about boats. I, I, born in Vancouver, grew up in Nanaimo. Yep. I sailed and canoed and kayaked all my life. And I moved back here from Ontario a couple of years ago, and I wanted to get a boat that was well suited to this coast, to these waters. And I spent a lot of time looking around, and this is this is the perfect boat for this coast. Now, this is, is this a canoe? This is a, well, it's a it's a it's a kayak style canoe. It's a yeah, kayak it's, style. Yeah. Uh, will you will you cover it in on top? Like I could if I wanted to. Okay. But I'm going to leave it open for now yeah. And, yeah. and just see how it goes. If I wanted to take it on longer trips, if I wanted to take it in open water, I would put a deck on it. Okay. Yeah, and that's good. And but if you're in Falls Creek. Yeah. Oh yeah, in Falls Creek and around around in sheltered waters, the open boat is. And this is big enough that I can handle it myself. But if I want to take my girlfriend out in it, there's enough room for her as well. Or I could take gear in it if I wanted to go camping. Okay. And it's just, it's, and it's amazingly simple in terms of construction. And of course, you want to throw it on, on your on your vehicle? Yeah, piece of cake. And I've had canoes that have been not much bigger than this that are 80 pounds. This is 30 pounds. Okay? Huge, huge difference in weight. And the tools are really complicated. There's a handsaw, a drill, a hammer, and I think that's it. Okay? So, you, it, you know, you're not talking about something. And it's a beautiful... Mix. It's, yeah, these are all. This is this is synthetic sinew lashing, and it's red cedar lashed on on yellow cedar. The the stringers and ribs are yellow cedar, and again the the, the structure gives it right. The wood is bent into natural curves, so not only does it look beautiful, but it but it's really strong. How long will it take? How many you to hours? Uh, how many hours? Well, we've been slow about it, uh, but it's probably 30 hours in that range. Yeah, okay. yeah. And and I've learned a bunch of new skills. I've never built anything with lashing before. Okay, I'm a hammer and nails guy, so so that was quite novel. Uh, and I'm just amazed by how strong it is. As soon as the boat starts to sh take shape, you can feel the strength of the structure. You know, it looks so delicate that you're kind of handling it a little bit gently, and then you realize, no, no, I can I can bounce That's that around. Good. Yeah. Well, how does it handle? Oh, yeah. Well, I made him let me take one out before I built this. Okay. Okay, that one over there. And it is, it, this is the thing that sold me on it. I'm, I'm mostly a canoeist, and canoes are always being picked up by the wind and turned around, and, and you're always fighting against the wind. I took it out here, there was a five or ten knot wind blowing, not very much, but it would be enough to turn a canoe. This thing, I just, I, I took a bead on a point across Falls Creek, and I was paddling away about 30 degrees off the wind, and I could feel it sliding sideways a little bit. But there was no weather cocking, there was no turning, I didn't have to fight the wind at all. And it just slides through the water, right? Because, the, again, the curve of the wood, trees are, are designed to bend in ways that minimize fluid forces, right? Otherwise they fall over. So when you, when you have a natural curve from the wood, it glides through the water extremely easily. It's hydrodynamically very, very efficient. I'm a, I'm a physicist and engineer in my, in my ordinary life. So, so those are things I think about. And, and these boats, just, they just glide through the water. They're so easy to move.